Hello, my name is Parker, the creator and developer of Twos, the best place to write things down. And this video is going to be how you can use this app to really change your life with how you remember things, how you get things done. The first thing and the most important thing is to write things down. As you can see on my day here, I constantly write things down. This is just today. I use it for everything that I need to write down, everything that I need to remember. I don't use Apple Notes. I don't use Google Docs. I don't text myself. I don't email myself. I don't use notebooks or pieces of paper. Everything goes into twos so I know where everything is. It's easy to find, easily accessible. Writing things down can be the best way to gain control over your life, to organize your life. Twos, not only does it help you organize these things, but it also helps you get things done. Just for example, you can see I have an address. This will automatically give me the link to go to Google Maps. Some of these things are habits and things that I like to do every day or at specific times of day. These are links that I find. I journal, I'm not gonna drop it down, but I journal, I brainstorm things, I capture memories throughout a day. If I'm taking notes on a book on my phone, I'll use the little scan text thing, which I'll probably put a short video up here. Whether you're writing it down, you're using Siri, or you're using our WhatsApp integration, our text integration, our email integration, the most important step to being a twos pro is just writing things down. The second most important step is to make lists. So twos is a list app. We give you a daily list that's called today. You get a day for each week and these days are just lists of things. You'll also want to create lists for anything. It could be a list of goals that you have. Here are my resolutions for 2025 or resolutions for 2025. You can see I have that within a resolutions list that has my resolutions for years in the past, but you can create lists for anything. Some of my lists here in the side menu, I made a list for this video. I have a development list. This is a kind fellow that I am meeting with tomorrow. I wrote down some questions that I wanna ask him. Current priorities, those are just life and work related priorities. Things that I wanna do this week. People and things that I wanna pray for. You'll have your own lists of things that you want to organize, your own goals, your own notes from a conversation with someone, little things that you want to remember about them. That is all up to you. If you use something like Apple Notes, let me open up my Apple Notes. I don't use Apple Notes, but let's say that you did and you wanted to transport some things into twos. You can copy an Apple Note, come into twos, create a new list with this button and paste the note. Now you're in twos. It's as easy as that. Let's do one more. Here's baby names. If we just took these, just create a new list, this new list button, it's in the top right on mobile and on web, paste it in. And here you have your baby names list. It's so nice to create lists. It really helps you get organized. Don't worry about creating too many. I literally have thousands. You can see how quick and easy it is to still find things. Number three is to bookmark lists that you're currently working on. Like if I wanted to work on this weekly review list, I would bookmark it, which is in the list actions here, these little three dots, and then click on bookmark. And it will also show up in your side menu. Here it is at the top of my side menu. When you're done with the list, when you're done using it, like if I finish a book or I finish this video, I'm gonna unbookmark this list, then you can remove the bookmark. But that is a great tip for keeping the list that you're currently working on easily accessible. Number four is sharing, and there's a lot of different sharing options, but in twos, one of the really nice things is being able to share a list with anyone. It's much easier than Google Docs, or Apple Notes or anything like that. All you need to do is come to the list actions, click on this share list icon. Here are some of the options. You can copy the link, which will make this list public. You'll see this little shared icon above it. And if you wanna turn it off, you just hit this again. You can copy the link, you can send the link via text message, you can copy the text of a list, you can print a list, you can share it to other platforms. You can also export a list in list actions, share list, and then do as, and you have some options as an image, as PDF, as a text file, as a markdown file. You can also just copy the markdown, but you can also export everything via settings 
in the side menu, then just come to export here and you can download all of your information, download as text, download as markdown. The last sharing option is via collab. And you come here over to list actions, click on this collab button, and you can just add any collaborators. You can invite people if they have a phone number and email, and then they'll be able to come and join your list. Number five is to use to do's. You can see here that I have to do's and I can check them off and I cannot check them off because I'm not done with it yet. On today, you can see that I have a bunch of to do's listed it off. One of the very nice features of twos is that it will carry over unfinished to do's each day. So if I don't finish any of these things, they'll just be carried over to tomorrow so I can take care of them tomorrow. The to do's view, which is in the side menu, this will show you all of your to do's across all of your days and lists. If you create to do's on a random list in a meeting notes, or you create to do's in different project lists, you can see all of your to do's in one place in the to do's view. And in order to create a to do, all you have to do is come to the bottom here. I want to look up flights to Dublin. That is a to do, that's something that I want to do. And I could come over here and click on the dash and turn it into a to do. But we also give these automatic smart suggestions based on the things you write down. Over here, we'll see smart suggestions. And the first one is turn it into a to do. We also see viewed on Google Flights or on Expedia. I'll talk about that later. But you can just use the smart suggestion to turn that thing into a to do. The next tip is going to be using stars. If bookmarks were a way to mark a list as important, a star is to mark a thing as important. So maybe it's not something that you need to do, but it's something that you want to remember. Let's take this changing app store title and subtitles as well as screenshots. Maybe this was something that I wanted to remember over a long period of time, but not on a specific date. I would star this thing. And to do that, you just click on the dash and then click on star. If it's a to do, because if you were to click on it, it would check it off. You can long press on a to do to turn it into a star. The last way is just to select something, come to the edit button, and then click on the star button here. You'll be able to see all of your stars in the stars view in the side menu. The next tip is going to be using tags. We went a long time without them, and that's because the search is really good where you can just search keywords and find things. But if you want to tag things across days and lists, the example is this Chrome tag. So if I save anything from our Chrome extension up here, they'll automatically tag Chrome, which we can see some of my tags here I have a tag for Chrome. I write down stories, what I'm grateful for. There's some more up here. You can tag anything. It's an easy way to find things across your days and lists. The next tip is going to be using auto date detect to set reminders. So what that means is rather than opening up your calendar app and going through the process of creating a calendar event, or rather than opening up your reminders app and going through the process of creating a reminder, you can just open twos up and you can say date at Oak and Ola tomorrow at 6 p.m. So you just write down what you want. You could say send metrics email every Friday at 4 p.m. You just write it down and you'll get these smart suggestions over here. You click on those. Not only do you get the Google Maps to get to the restaurant, but you also have these quick add a reminder or add it to your calendar. And all you do is you click on that button. For the metrics one, we'll have Friday at 4 p.m. every week. You just click on that. If I wanted to add it to my calendar, I could add it to my calendar with that button. These reminders will show up on the days that we want to be reminded of. So tomorrow, we'll see dated Okanola, six o'clock. And on Friday, we'll see send metrics email at four o'clock. And this is also potentially a to-do. So I could turn that thing into a to-do and then I could check it off. It's basically a recurring task. You can do it for birthdays. So if I learn Joe's birthday is on Christmas day or December 25th, it'll do the same thing. A yearly reminder, but then it'll also allow you to send a text message to them or buy them a gift card. The next is gonna be connect your calendar. If we were to drop this down, we could see I have some calendar events earlier in the day. And whenever I want to join a meeting, I just click on the meeting, we'll be ready to join. But that is through the mobile app. In the mobile app, if you go to the side menu, you go to settings, and then under integrations, 
The top one you'll see there is calendar. Drop that one down and you can connect any of your calendars. You'll start seeing your events on your day. So this is how I join meetings. I don't even use the calendar app. I just use twos. The next thing is writing things down quickly and then moving things. Let's say I learned something about Joe doesn't know how to cook but can still cook. Maybe that's just something random that I wrote down, or maybe I captured a book recommendation. Resilient was a book that was recommended to me recently. You can write these things down anywhere. You don't need to navigate to the list first. And then I can select this thing and I can move this thing to another list. Let's go to my Joe list. Here it is. And I can just move that thing to Joe Stalberg. For this book recommendation, I can select this thing, use the move again and move it to next books. I have a list of next books that I want to read. I can just move that thing to that list. You just want to get things down before you forget them and then you can reorganize them later. The next tip is going to be keyboard shortcuts. So I showed you how you can change the type of things by clicking on the dash and then picking the thing type, but you can also do that with keyboard shortcuts. So if I want a number, you can do one period space. If I want a to do, I can do open bracket, close bracket, space. If I want a bullet, I can do period space. If I want a note, I can just backspace. And if I want a dash, I can just use the dash space. The keyboard shortcuts are actually here to the right. So you can even see sub list, which we haven't talked about is command K. One key keyboard shortcut is to indent things. And on your computer, obviously you can use tab and it will indent backspace to outdent, but on your phone, and I'm not gonna do it on my phone, I'll do it on the computer because it works on the computer as well. You can use the space bar to indent. So on your phone, if you want to indent something, just go to the front of it or on a blank thing, press space bar and you'll be indenting. Very cool feature. It's also very helpful for cleaning up a list. So these were time stamps for new podcast. If I wanted all of these things to be indented, I could select these things one by one. This is another pro tip. If you hold shift and click the bottom one, all of the other things will be selected. On mobile, it's a long press on the bottom thing to select all of the things in between because there's no shift. And then I could use tab to indent these things. Once you have indented things under one thing, we call this top thing a toggled heading, which you'll see this little hide children toggle over here, you can use that to essentially clean up your list. So if you had a super long thing, like my morning pages is super long, it's almost a thousand words. And I create a toggle heading just for that case. Another pro tip is using dividers. So I like to use dividers to break up my day or to separate the information that I'm capturing to create a divider. Just do three dashes in a row followed by a space or three equal signs in a row followed by a space. You can also just click on the dash and click on divider. The next one is going to be creating sub lists after capturing things. These were notes that I took for a conversation that I was having with Joe earlier. If I wanted to create a sub list, so a sub list is essentially another list that you can nest inside of other lists to create some structure. I'll talk about this more in a second, but the next tip is to basically brain dump or write whatever it is. It could be during a meeting. It could be taking notes, brain dump, whatever you want on today. Afterwards, you can select these things and then you can create a new sub list. I would call this notes on embark demo. And if I create this sub list, it will basically just take those things and nest them inside of a sub list. It looks like a toggle heading, but it's actually a standalone list that I can open on its own. I'll see here are the things that are inside of this sub list. And it will also create a backlink to where the sub list exists. I could nest this in multiple lists and get back to wherever I was using these backlinks at the top. The next tip is actually to organize lists in side of other lists. So maybe our presentation is actually on Thursday. Maybe I want this on Thursday. I could use the list actions to organize this list 
into another list and I would pick a day in this case and I would pick Thursday. And what we would see is this list is on today. It's also on Thursday's list. So you can organize your list like this. A good example of this for books, I typically organize them in different lists. So this list is just a part of my 2424 books list. All of the books that I've read get their own sub list and they all live within this year. This year I have 2025 books list. And if I open that one up, we'll see all of these books live in my 2025 books list, but they also live inside of my current books because those are the books that I'm currently reading. Ishmael was a book that I read. It's no longer in my current books, but it is in my 2025 books list. The next pro feature is to utilize your memories view. I actually make the memories view part of my navigation bar. It is basically a history to review and remember past memories or past things you did. So if I went down to the bottom here, we'll see eight years ago, what I was writing down on these days, I was reading The Rhythm of Life I was reading The Lean Startup six years ago. I was reading The Intelligent Investor five years ago. You can also check out the days and what you wrote down. It's so great to be able to remember things and revisit things. You can see I was working on the twos knowledge graph two years ago. I only have a few more tips. Using search is super powerful. Let's say I wanted to look up my goals. Type in whatever you want. You'll find what you're looking for. I typically use search for navigation. I don't typically go to my list view or go to my home view. I just use search. It's the quickest way to find the things that you're looking for or the list that you're looking for. You can search words of things and pull up all of the things that you've written about a certain topic. And the tip beyond that is to use good list names mean so name your lists well so you can find them well use keywords use names use whatever topics for things like meeting notes for this meeting this was with Lewis it's in my conversations with Lewis list but in January 10th 2023 we talked about marketing goals it keeps all the dates of when you created things or when you edited things you don't need to put the date in it it's helpful for me whatever is helpful for you that's what you should do the next tip is to use integrations so if you go to the side menu and we already went to it on mobile for calendar but if you go into integrations here, you'll see we have calendar integration, we have email integration, we have a text integration, we have WhatsApp integration, we have a Chrome extension. You should use these integrations to be able to quickly capture information no matter where you are. There's a Siri integration, there's a widget on mobile. Using these will make you more efficient for adding things to your twos. The next to last tip is to customize your twos. So if you go back to settings, we have a lot of different preferences. I think the one that is most important is in to do's, auto carry over unfinished to do's. I turn this one on, you can turn it on too. A lot of them, like I use the 24 hour clock. You kind of just need to figure out what works for you. If I go to the appearance one, I've actually had my font changed but it starts out with Lotto. One thing that I would recommend customizing, depending on how you use twos and what you're getting the most use out of, customize your nav bar, customize your side menu, and then customize whatever's in more. I put in memories, home is normally here, and then I customize my side menu based on the views that I use. Maybe after you've been using twos for a while and you know what views you use. The last, but maybe third most important tip is use twos on multiple devices. I use twos on my phone every single day. There's not a day that I don't use it on my phone. There's also not a day that I don't use it on web. You can use it on desktop if you want to use desktop, but use twos wherever you go. We support basically every platform, so it doesn't matter where you use it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for wanting to get the most out of twos. If there's anything I missed that you think is important, please let me know in the comments below. And any questions that you have, more than happy to answer them. And happy Tuesday.